Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com. Today I want to share with you clothes pin color match. This is really a great activity for fine motor skills development as well as color recognition. And what I did was I just took cardstock paper. I took, um, even though I have six color, six, seven colors here, you can make as many of these as you want of various different colors of cardstock paper. And I fold a sheet of cardstock paper in half and I measured around a bowl that's probably about five inches around. Um, and I, I glued the two pieces together, if that makes sense. I folded the piece in half, I traced around the paper, the bowl on the paper, and then I opened up the paper and I kind of put glue where I thought the two pieces were going to meet together because this is doubled uh, cardstock paper. I want it to be really thick. Even though we laminate ours, um, I still want it to be thicker than the normal cardstock paper. So this is actually two circles put together, glued together, and then they'll be laminated. And for the clothes pins themselves, all I did was I took the same color paper and I kind of measured, drew a line where I thought the length of the clothes pin was going to be on the paper. I drew a line down and I cut that section out and then I just cut little strips out on the, of that and I pl applied glue stick to the whole top of the clothes pin and then I pressed the strip of the paper on and if there was overhang I just simply turned it over and I cut off the extra you know maybe on the top here or maybe on the side and that was it it was very easy to set up it's kind of time consuming to do the clothes pins but um, I just really feel this is a great activity so um, how to set this up I just usually normally have them set in a basket with the colors separate from or the clothespins separate from the circles. And then children will come and self-select the colors that they want to work on first. They, so they'll pick a pink and then they look for the pink and then they find all the pink that's in the um, container, whatever you choose to put yours in. And then they just attach the clothespins to the same matching colored circle on there. And they go through until they have completed that with all of them. How many clothespins you use is totally up to you. I usually start with about four, three or four, and as they're able to get those, um, then we can increase the number of clothespins on there. And I usually about six or seven or eight different colors of cardstock paper. So um, again, totally up to you. You know your early learning environment better than anyone else as to what um, you feel is right for them. So, but again, they love this activity and great for color recognition and fine motor skills development. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so so you can be notified when new videos are released. And also please subscribe to my free weekly newsletter at childcareland.com or childcarelandblog.com. And if you feel the material I present in these videos is helpful to you, please like, comment, and share. For Clothespin Color Match, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.